Der, der, der Escape-Knopf fehlt. Der Escape-Knopf. Wo ist der? Hello, English-speaking world, all the German learners, I greet you. In this video we'll be looking at the German computer keyboard and the names of all the keys on it. The numbers and letters, of course, are self-explanatory, but there are many functions and symbols that are useful to know in German. First of all, a keyboard is called die Tastatur in German. A key is called Taste, which comes from the verb Tasten, which means to touch with your fingers. To type is Tippen. A symbol or sign is called Das Zeichen. Let's start with the keys for special functions. On the top left we have the Escape key and it is one of the few keys that don't have a German name. It is simply called Escape or Escape Taste. The control key is called Steuerung or STRG. The shift key is called Umschalt Taste, but most people use the English name, I believe. Caps Lock is called Feststelltaste, but I think many people can also understand Caps Lock. Tabulator is called Tabulator. The Windows key is called Windows Taste. Alt is called Alt. And Alt GR is called Alt GR. By the way, it stands for Alternate Graphics. The Spacebar is called Leertaste. The Menu key is called Menü Taste. Enter is called Eingabe Taste, Input key but it is usually referred to as Enter. Backspace is called Rücktaste, but it is also often called Backspace. The F keys are called F-Tasten, F1, F2 and so on. Then there are the arrow keys, they are called Pfeiltasten, links, rechts, oben, unten. Next is the Insert key, it is called Einfügen in German. Position 1 is Position 1, PG up and PG down are Bild auf and Bild up, although I used to call it Bild rauf and Bild runter before I looked it up. It's basically the same meaning but more colloquial. And is Ende, Delete is Entfernen, Remove, then above those is Print screen which is called Druck. It sometimes says S Apf, which stands for System Abfrage, which means system request, but I never heard anyone call it like that. Next to it is Scroll Lock, which is called Rollen, Roll. Then there is Pause and Break, which is Pause and Unterbrechen. If you have a number pad, which is called Das Nummernfeld, you can activate it with a NUM key, which is called NUM Taste or NUMAN Taste. On the pad there is plus, minus, plus, minus and divide and multiply, which are called durch and mal. Now let's go over the names of the symbols and signs. Starting with the top left, there's a key here, which is very different from the English keyboard. It has a French accent here called Accent Circonflex. We use the French name of it. Using Shift and this key you can write a degree symbol which is called Grad or Gradzeichen. Then Shift 1 has the exclamation mark which is called Ausrufezeichen. Shift 2 has the quotation marks which are called Anführungszeichen or sometimes also Gänsefüßchen. It should be noted that the word processing programs automatically change it from upper to lower if put in front of something. 
There is no actual key to type a lower quotation mark as it is used in German when quoting. All GR2 is squared, which is called hoch 2. All GR3 is cubed, which is called hoch 3. Shift 3 is the section sign, which is called Paragraph or Paragraphenzeichen. It is used to show sections of a law. Shift 4 is the dollar sign, das Dollarzeichen. Shift 5 is percent, which is Prozent. Shift 6 is the ampersand. In German it is called Undzeichen or Etzeichen because it comes from the Latin word et meaning and. However, the latter isn't used that much anymore because it can easily be confused with the email symbol that is also called like that. Shift 7 is the slash, which is called Schrägstrich. Alt GR7 is a left curly bracket, geschweifte Klammer auf. Alt GR0 is right curly bracket, geschweifte Klammer zu. Shift 8 is left parenthesis, Klammer auf. Shift 9 is right parenthesis, Klammer zu. Those can also be called runde Klammern if you want to be extremely precise. All GR8 is left square bracket, eckige Klammer auf. All GR9 is right square bracket, eckige Klammer zu. Shift 0 is equal, gleich. Then next to 0 there is the SZ key. Shift SZ is the question mark. Das Fragezeichen. All GR SZ is the backslash, der Rückstrich or umgekehrter Schrägstrich, but usually the English term backslash is used. Then next to the SZ key, there is a key for the other two French accents. They are called by their French names accent aigu and accent grave. Then to do the at sign, you press all GR and Q. It is called Etzeichen or Klammeraffe. The latter is actually an animal's name with a curly tail. It has become a bit old fashioned to use it though. All GR E types the Euro sign, Eurozeichen. Right of the Umlaut Ü, there is the plus, plus. Shift plus is the asterisk. It is called Sternchen, little star. All GR plus is the tilde. It is called tilde. Under that key is the hash. It is called Rautenzeichen or Nummernzeichen. Shift hash is an apostrophe, apostroph, or sometimes called Hochkomma. Then in the bottom left corner we have the greater than and lesser than signs. They are called größer als Zeichen and kleiner als Zeichen. Alt GR of this produces the pipe. In German it is called senkrechter Strich, vertical line. Alt GR M produces mu. It is called mu or Mikrozeichen in German. Next to the M there is the comma and semicolon, which are called comma and semicolon. Next to that is the period or dot and the colon, der Punkt und der Doppelpunkt. Next to that is minus, minus and the underscore, which is der Unterstrich. And that's it. Those are all the keys on a typical German keyboard. Of course there can also be more depending on the type of keyboard like an FN key, FN Taste, but this should cover all a standard keyboard has to offer. Like and share this video and if you have any questions write them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.